first topic that I'd like to discuss is something that you've been asking for. The ability to understand when we have a new release. And with Icon version 7, we now give you the ability to be informed when the next release will be available. Automatically, you will be notified when there is a new version available, and you can also download it directly onto your tablet if you have a valid maintenance contract. Not only that, you'll be able to download the firmware files for all of your tool stations and GNSS units that you use every day. Process of laying out points and lines is something that you do every day. And we've aimed to help make the selection of those points quicker and easier than before. We now have a dynamic point selection that you can choose to get the software to automatically select the nearest point to you as you are walking around your project. Think of the example of laying out a concrete slab where you just walk to each corner and it automatically selects that point for you, guides you to it, and when you've stored it, it automatically selects the next one for you. If you don't want that point, you just move closer to the one you do want and it'll automatically switch for you. Not only that, we also enable the automatic selection of lines. So you can actually stake out and lay out the nearest line to you without having to continually tap on the screen to make sure you have the right selection. Again, it allows you to move dynamically from line to line. For example, in MEP or again, back within concrete to speed up the process for you to get the work done that you need. Another area that we wanted to focus on with you was helping you to get to work quicker. One of the challenges we hear most often is that we don't know what units are in a CAD file when we want to import them. And now with Icon version 7, we automatically read the units of a CAD file and apply them as you import your design data that you want to work with. If for some reason that it doesn't have the correct units or it's been designed with other units, you still have the option to overwrite this as well. Also, when exporting your data at the end of the day. We now have the ability when you export a DXF file that not only can you choose to export the coordinates of the points that you want, but also just as importantly, the deviations from the layout that you've performed on site. So you can just see those values and give that as a deliverable to your project teams or to your clients. Working on busy construction sites can often be challenging when you want to remain locked to your target when using a robotic total station. And we know there are times when we will lose lock to your target. But to help you to get back to work as quick as possible, we now automate the process of finding you again. We will automatically perform a cube search and then a power search if we lose you. And we still give you the option to define how you would like your search settings to be. And we will remember those even after you restart the sensor and the software. And of course, we can't forget that with Icon version 7, we also support the AP20 Autopole, our unique accessory that allows you to have target ID, tilt compensation, and automatic pole height, meaning that we overcome many of the challenges that we face every day on a busy construction site. Within the MEP and HVAC sectors, we know that you utilize our auto stake routine to automatically get the instrument to turn and highlight where you need to mark and drill for hangar installations, as an example. And to help you with your tasks on a daily basis, what we've done now is made the selection persistent. This means when you come back to your project, you're ready to go again without having to go through steps to set up the controller to get ready to perform those actions. Simply, Back up in the scissor lift, select your point, and it will automatically start auto staking again for you. Prefabrication, off-site construction, and modular construction are growing trends within our industry. And these require good digital processes to make sure everything aligns well together, to make sure that we maximize the benefits that we get from this new form of construction. One area that we're able to help with is that we now have the ability to scan QR codes on prefabricated objects and automatically select them within an IFC file. Simply tap the QR code button, scan the QR code, and as long as we have the string object ID 
and then the name of that object. We will highlight it in the model, allowing you to quickly access it, to essentially track it into place, to make sure that we get the installation done right first time, every time. Verification within the construction industry is another key topic. We've had a verification app since version six, allowing not only the verification of data from total stations against design, but also utilizing the Leica Nova MS60 multi-station. With version seven, we've also included the band scan support, allowing you to capture more data quicker than before. But to help with this workflow, we've also added a filter to our verification routine which will automatically remove unwanted and potentially noisy data from the scans that could otherwise have a detrimental impact on the results that you get. Now we will automatically filter the data to just outside the range of your design object, or you can choose what that range needs to be, allowing you for a cleaner, more comprehensive and more understandable verification process. So you can tell when the objects are right and when they're wrong and what actions we may need to take. And of course, there is much more that we have within Icon version seven. And if you would like to learn more about Icon Build or Icon Site, please visit our website where we have the information to assist you, but also ways for you to get in contact with us.